All right, hi again guys, this is Ivan from BurningBest.com and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect and use this little OLED display that uses the SPI bus uh, interface. Uh, the SPI bus uses more connections than the uh, I2C bus that we saw in another tutorial, but the SPI bus has the advantage of being a lot faster. So since this is a little graphic LCD, uh, you know, to display bitmaps or um, anything like that, the speed is an advantage for us. And in this project we're using five pins for the uh, display and only one pin for the DHT11 that you see right here that we saw in another tutorial also. Uh, this little OLED display is about an inch wide and has a resolution of 128 by 64. So it's good, it's good enough for what we want to do today. And these are really great. OLEDs have the advantage of, first of all, being very bright, and they have a wide viewing angle, and also they almost use no power at all. I think this guy full on is like 0 0.08 watts or something. So these guys are very well suited for any project that is running off batteries or something like that, a portable project. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take the readings from the DHT11, temperature and humidity, and we're going to display these values on the display right here. And also what we're going to do, we're going to take a bitmap <clears throat> that we're going to transform into hexadecimal using a little program called LCD Assistant that I'm going to show you. And it'll put the little logo right here and put the temperature and the humidity on the side right there. So connections, uh, we have five connections we need to do to the display. First of all, I'm taking the voltage and ground from the Uno, putting it on the breadboard rail. And then I'm using the rails to connect the power to both of the module. So five connections going to the Uno at position 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. And our DHT11 only needs one, so we're putting that at A0. <clears throat> As always, if you want to get the diagram, the schematics, the code, the library we used, just go to our website and click on the tutorial tab, and you'll find all that information. Uh, for this particular tutorials and find all the tutorials we've done uh, recently. Now, the one thing we need to uh, make sure is that we're going to use a library for this. The library is called U, uh, let me make sure, UHGLib, and this is a great library for any OLED that you might have. Uh, the one we have right here uses the SDD1306 uh, chip so that will be compatible with that library. So we'll take a look at that library. There's a lot of parameters that we can use. Uh, we're going to use the, um, to put the text and the bitmap, but there's a lot more. So you can find a link for that on our website also, if you want to get more uh, in depth. So we're going to cut here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to fire up the LCD assistant software, take the bitmap, convert it, and then we'll go to main code, copy that information so we can have the bitmap right here and see all the, uh, the code that we need to display the information. So we'll cut here and we'll be right back uh, with the results. Okay, so here we are guys. This is the uh, little program we're gonna use, LCD Assistant. You can find a link on our website to download that. So we're gonna load the image that we created beforehand in Photoshop, it's a bitmap, black and white. So we're gonna load that in and you see a picture preview there. Now the byte orientation, uh, we need horizontal because that's what the library is using. Uh, the size, we don't need to modify it, just make sure the size is not bigger than the actual LCD. So here we're doing about 50 by 50. Uh, the rest of the settings uh, are all okay. So we're just gonna go and go save output and then we're gonna type in a name for the output file which is gonna contain the hexadecimal information that we're going to put in the main code. So we're just going to name it brain X, save that, and then we're going to open that file. And we're going to use WordPad for that. And there it is. So basically all it does, it generates all the code to put the bitmap on the screen. So this, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to copy all this information inside our main code. So we're going to go to the main code screen and take a look at that right now. All right, so here we are in the main code. As you can see, we have the information that we got from the LCD assistance for a, for a bitmap right here. 
So we're putting that into an array that we can use later to display on the OLED. So we're defining the array here to put all the X information. Now also the first thing we're going to do, we're going to include two libraries. One is for the OLED display and the other one is for the DHT11 sensor. So you can find a download link for those files on our website. Once you have them, just extract it to your library folder. There's the first one and the DHT. Once you've done that, just restart your ID software and we're good to go. So we're going to define the pin that our sensor is connected to. That's A0. Then we're going to do our library. So here's the OLED library. And these are the pins that the uh, OLED is connected to on our Uno in sequence. Then we have the information of the bitmap. And then we do the draw function. So basically, it start with drawing the bitmap as position x76, y5. This, uh, the 6 is for the width and the height. The width is multiplied by 8. That's why it's 6. So it's close to 50. We're at 48. And then we choose a font that we have that is available in the library. Then we draw at 0, 030. We're going to put temperature column. And then at 0, 050, a little bit lower, we're going to put yum column. Then we're going to set the print position at 4430. And that's going to put our cursor right after the temperature column space. So we can put the DHT temperature reading right there by calling that. Zero is because we don't want any decimal uh, numbers. And then at 6030, right after we get that, we're going to put the C for Celsius uh, after temperature, not humidity there and then we do the same thing for the humidity so we put our cursor after that we get the humidity value and then we put the cursor a little bit later and we draw the string percentage and then we have our main loop which basically calls uh, reads the uh, sensor pin to get the information and then we do the draw function at the end we do a delay of five seconds because the sensor shouldn't be accessed more than once every two seconds so that's it so that's the uh, whole code that we're going to use. So we're going to upload that and uh, go back to our breadboard and look at the results. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're back to our breadboard. We already uploaded code to the Uno right here. And I'm going to plug it in and we should see the results uh, appearing on our little display. So here we go. And there you are. So we're putting the Burning Bits logo that we transform with the LCD assistant in hexadecimal. And then we're putting temperature, humidity, getting the values from the DHT11, and putting Celsius and the percentage sign. Now you might see some scan lines on the video, but that's due to the camera, because when I'm looking at it, it's very bright and very clear. And that's because 128 by 64 pixels on a one inch display makes it that the pixel density is very high on these guys and they look very good. So if you want to build something like this, uh, we sell all the parts on our uh, website, BurningBits.com. And if you go to the tutorial page for this particular project, you'll find a link for the library, the sketch, more information, and also you'll uh, find more tutorials that we've done. So once again, I'm Ivan, and I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to catch you guys later. Take care.